Okay, to get started on your Nicho box picture frames, you're gonna need to grab these two toilet paper tubes that are in your kit. You're gonna need your paints. So you've got five different ones in your kit. You've got the three primary colors, red, yellow, and blue. So with those, you can mix up anything you want. You've got white and black to make things lighter and darker. And we've got some painting utensils here, cotton balls, my favorite, some cotton swabs, and a little paintbrush. And you'll also need that tray to kind of keep your mess there. You'll need this bag of shiny sequins, very fun, something to color with, and this printable here that has some sugar skulls on it and some blanks to design your own art. Oh, and you'll also need a pair of scissors, can't forget about those. Okay, once you gather up all your supplies, get you a nice creation space where you can get a little bit messy. We are working with acrylic paint, so make sure you're dressed for that. And let's get started. So for this first step, all you need are the cardboard tubes and a pair of scissors. Um, maybe something to draw with if you'd like, but it's not necessary. And what we're gonna do is turn these tubes into a picture frame. So we've gotta get a hole in here so that we can see the art that's inside. So all you have to do to do this is smush the tube flat and then starting on one of the folded edges we're gonna cut a shape into it so let's see here your shape might look like well, that doesn't want to write so let's try this one instead okay remember I'm starting at the fold it might have a straight bottom and then go up and a straight top Maybe it's just a rectangle, okay? It could be, let's try this one, smush. It could be, ooh, it could be half a heart, okay? It could be an oval, it could be, look at this one, straight, straight up, and then it curved toward, back towards the middle, okay? So lots of different shapes to work with here. Um, once you, if you want to draw it on, you can, or you can just go for it and cut it. You're going to start at the fold, cut through both layers of the cardboard. It is a little tricky. Got to use your muscles or get help, but I believe in you. I think your muscles can do it. Okay. So you cut off the shape like that and then we'll smush it back open like that and see how now we can see on into the inside of our tube okay that's where our art's going to go in there so that's how it becomes a frame if you want you can also cut some things off the top like maybe i want this to be a little pointy so i'm going to try this if you want to do something like that you can check that out it rounded off the top um, let's see, maybe I'm going to smush it this way and cut these two corners off. Okay, totally up to you. Now I'm sure you have some toilet paper tubes laying around. This is a great recycling project. Um, if you have some tubes, you can make more than just the two that are in your kit. Um, go find a couple more or, um, toilet paper tube or a paper towel tube. Either one, you can just cut it to the size you need. And you make a whole bunch of these. That could be really cool, check that one out. I did half a heart, open it up. Got a heart frame. Pretty cool stuff. Okay, so get your tubes cut, find you some shapes that you like, and then we will be ready to paint. All right, for this next step, we are going to apply some paint to our nichos here. Um, we're gonna apply a base coat here, so it'll be one solid color on each tube. Um, reminder, you have five colors here. So you have the three primaries, red, yellow, and blue, and you have black and white, okay? The, with these three colors, I'm sorry, with these five colors, you can make anything else, pretty much, okay? So, if you are thinking maybe you want a green, what would we do? Take this primary, 
little bit of blue. A little bit of yellow. Come on. That yellow is stubborn. And then you'll take a cotton ball here and swirl them up. Check that out. Ta -da. Okay, so experiment with your paints. Mix some Mix some of your own colors, okay? Remember, Mexican folk art is very bright and vibrant, okay? So you wanna use some cool colors here. Um, if you wanted to go for a pink, what would you do? Remember, pink is just like a light red. So if you wanted pink, you could go for red and lighten it up with white, and that would give you a nice pink, I think. Go green on this one. Okay, so once you get a color you like, you're just gonna use your cotton ball and put that color all over that tube, okay, on the outside. You don't have to paint the inside. It's not really necessary. You won't really see it in there because we're gonna put art inside there. Um, so you won't see the inside of the tube. Um, but if you want to, you can, I guess. Okay, cover up your whole tube. Now remember, this is just a base coat. We're gonna add some other colors to this later once this is dry. So, just get a solid coat on here on the whole thing, okay? Have fun mixing. Get you some nice colors. And make these tubes nice and bright. Once your base coat is dry, you can now go back and grab either your paintbrush or some of these cotton swabs, and we're gonna add some accent colors to this. So, you might want to do maybe a border around the opening of your frame. Okay, that might look cool. Um, maybe you use your cotton swabs to paint some things on. Um, you could use those cotton swabs to do some dot art like we did when we went to Australia. That could be a cool way to add some details. I want you to try to include at least four colors on each one. Remember, Mexican folk art is full of vibrant, bright colors. So really go wild here. While your paint accents are drying, this would be a good time to make sure you get your hands washed and grab this page here, which has some different sugar skulls on them. Um, sugar skulls are a symbol that we see um, from Mexico around October time, which is when Dia de los Muertos, Day of the Dead happens. Um, and that's a holiday that a lot of Mexican people celebrate. Um, and it's a holiday where they remember one of their family members or some of their family members that are no longer living. Um, and they celebrate that day by kind of having a party for them. They remember them and they sing songs and they eat some of their favorite foods and um, all sorts of things just to celebrate and remember that person. Um, so these sugar skulls kind of represent that. Um, if you would like to use a couple of them, you can color them in however you'd like, decorate them however you like, make some designs in the background if you want. Um, there's also three blank ones here that are just for you if you want, if you would rather design your own artwork to put inside of your frames, you can absolutely do that too. Okay, so use your imagination, make them nice and bright and colorful and Pretty soon our paint will be dry and we'll be able to put them all together. So you can see here I have three of my tubes all finished. They have lots of color on them. You can see that I went in with a border around um, the frame opening and then I waited for that to dry 
and went back and did some other colors on top. Um, let's check out this one. You can see I've got lots of colors going on. It's nice and bright and colorful. I waited for a layer to dry and then I went back and did something else on top. Doing that, letting it dry and then coming back and doing more details is what gives it that really cool, bright, um, kind of vibrant folk art look to it that's that's um, seen all over Mexican Mexican art. So pretty cool stuff there. Um, once your tubes are all the way dry, you are ready to glue on some shiny sequins. All right, for this final step, all we need are tubes and this bag of shiny sequins. Um, also, some glue. You can use a glue stick, um, but if you have bottle glue, like regular liquid white glue, um, that works also, and sometimes works a little bit better for gluing on some of these. Um, but I'm gonna show you how to do it with a glue stick also. You can see I have my artwork up here, my little miniature artworks waiting to get framed. So, all you gotta do to glue these sequins on is just take one and you can see how the sequins have kind of a one side that's concave like a bowl okay and one side that's convex or rounded kind of sticks out once you take the side that sticks out so like it would be like the bottom of the bowl you can put it on your finger like this so it's basically like your fingers on the inside of the bowl and then just rub that around on the top of a glue stick Okay, that's gonna make sure you get lots of glue on it. Okay, I'll probably get a little bit of glue in that little center hole. And then, it should have plenty on to stick to our tube. Okay, now, this is where bottle glue comes in really handy. You can do it with a glue stick, so I wanted to show you how. But bottle glue works really great. You just take that bottle glue, touch the tip down, leave a little dot, not a lot, and go ahead and stick that sequin on. Another gluing technique with a glue stick is to grab a sequin and just hold it in your fingers kind of along on one edge and then scrape the other edge into the glue so that you pick up a whole lot of glue and then that will make sure that there's plenty on there to stick down. So let me show you again. Grab a sequin, kind of pinch it on one edge here and then scrape into the glue with it. So you're kind of scooping glue. So that's a good technique also to make sure that you get plenty of glue on there. Check those out. So shiny and cool. Okay, once this, the glue is all dry, the last step is just to take our little pieces of art and slide them in. Check that out. Okay. One thing I really love about this project is that it's a pretty simple. Um, it's made out of things you probably already have laying around your house so you could make a whole bunch more. Look at that. And when you decide, hmm, I'm gonna make something else, you can just pull that art right out and slide something else in there.